567 Cape Talk, Personality of the Week with Africa Milani. Born in Worcester, how does a young man born in 1951 in Worcester uh, realize that music is the way? Well, it, I wasn't so sure that music was the way. Um, it was very much poetry and writing yeah. uh, for me, the wor- you know, words words descriptive words um it was a time when there was you know the whole rock and roll explosion from from britain with the beatles and the stones and 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 then singer songwriters so i learned i started to learn to play the guitar um and and that has been you know being able to make music has been has been useful to me and and to combine the 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 writing with the music uh, i suppose has is is what really took me to the places that that I've been, but I didn't see myself as a musician right from the beginning. You yeah, know? it was kind of something I did, but I knew I wasn't as good as some other people. And like this, the the guys and the women in Briani, they're fantastic. Those are fantastic musicians. You're a you great know, musician. Those right? are My musicians. Word, they're fantastic. Those are musicians. I, I'm a showman, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but these are people that can really play. Uh, so and where has music, poetry, or writing taken you all over the world? Well, it's taken me all over the world. I've been, I've certainly, I've been to Malaysia with it, and I've been to Europe with it. I've been in Vienna and uh, all the European countries. And but um, I'm particularly proud that uh, it took me to the West End of London and uh, won um, a Laurence Olivier Award for the best new mm-hmm. musical of uh, 1999, and uh, and then it also took me to Broadway. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I, I think, uh, you know, for me in my world of musical theater, um, there's, you know, that's, just, that's the road stops there, you know, that's it. You, you, there's no, you can't go further than that. And so I was very happy to, uh, to be on that journey. Now, once again, going back to this man with a mission, you, you are a great fan, uh, of the Karoo. And when Shell made the announcement that they're going to explore fracking exercises, you one of the people who, I suppose, gave off your voice and your time to a campaign to, to highlight some of the challenges. Yes. With that. Yes. I, I, um, when I found out uh, what the intentions were with fracking and, um, and I particularly watched a, a um, a documentary film called uh, Gasland, and if you get a chance to see that, you should have a look and see uh, the, 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 the destruction that takes place uh, and the dangers that are inherent in fracking. Um, I was very, very uh, keen to, to at least lend my, my fame um, to making other people aware of this and, um, uh, yeah, and to bring the message particularly to the ordinary people of the Karoo. Mm. Um, because this is going to affect everybody. You know, this is not just about people who own the land. Or, it, this is about everybody, and uh, and we don't know um, what the consequences of fracking might be in the in the future. Yeah, um, we're getting a lot of um, you know adverts placed in newspapers and shallow saying, "Look, this is very deep under the ground. It's not a, you know it's not going to affect anything." But they don't really know. You know, you 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 are. You're breaking up the shale deep down under the ground. Um, and what the consequences of that might be in the future, um, not enough time has gone by. And you, and if you look at what's happened in other countries, then yeah. you certainly don't want it to happen yet. Yeah. But it's an issue of water. And, and as I say in the little video that we shot, um, it's, you know, it's your constitutional right to clean environment it's you know we have a constitutional right that we should have clean air and clean water and um and this i don't think the fracking people can guarantee